Good morning everybody and welcome. It's Mark here from Glasgow. It's seven in the morning and it's a beautiful sky here in Glasgow. Um, Ren has went to number one with Sick Boy. Um, how did the album get to number one? Let's find out. It's a wee cold morning as well, so um, let's get into the, the nice warm studio and um, let's get cracking. The trauma response. I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic... Good morning and uh, welcome to Glasgow. As I said, it's nice and early in the morning and it's uh, nice and cosy in the studio. Um, so... I've been creating some music for a, a film which has got a screen tonight, which is quite epic. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. And then on top of that, uh, I just found out that um, Ren has went to number one. Now, I had done my uh, first reaction to Ren, I think it was the 7th of March. Um, pretty much it was... The, the 7th of March, roughly around about then, and uh, it was for High Ren, and this was the first time I had done a couple of reaction videos, um, and a couple of singing tutorials, and somebody that actually jumped on and said, you have to do Ren, and I'm like, who's Ren? This is like seven months ago, roughly, um, and I, I tell you, in that time I've done a load of reaction videos to his songs, and turned quite a lot of people on to Ren as well, but his his support has just went through the roof so quickly. Um, and he has been about for a while, and um, it's it's just like an incredible story. So, right, why is Ren's album Sick Boy went to number one? Right, well, grassroots support, you know. Um, I've watched him uh, since I started doing the reaction to him, as I said, in March. Uh, his support's grown at a rapid rate with a, a great mixture of well-produced tracks, videos, and a backstory that really resonates with everybody that learns about him. Everybody that learns about his story, like fall in love with the character Ren, with him, you know. A tragic story, some might say, that's brought him on a, another path that's led him here today as a number one recording artist. It's like quite a story. So the album has been, it's a self-produced album. He's done everything himself, which we all know. Interesting fact. Now this is this is a great fact that we've found out when we've been researching. Uh, the midweek charts, um, as everybody knows, is almost like a kind of prediction type thing. And uh, it was predicted that Rick Astley's album was going to be number one, right, by the end of the week. But what Ren and the other songs, which is his, the independent label that's actually working with him, which is another great point. No major labels involved. Um, nice wee independent label, other songs with Ren have actually came up with a brilliant idea, right? So they released um, an exclusive digital version of the album that contained like some kind of extra bonus tracks um, and that pushed the album sales I think it was of roughly at about 5,000, which helped push him to the number one slot, kicking Rick Astley off the top slot. Now, what makes this even better is that Rick Astley is with BMG Records, which is a part of Sony. And Sony are the record label that dropped Ren. Um, when he fell ill, so it's like kind of poetic justice, uh, I think. Uh, so, well done to you guys for coming up with a brilliant idea of how to get Rent to number one. Rick Astley's okay, do you know what I mean? Good enough artist, but Ren is like unique, you know, he deserves to be at number one. This new album we're going to go through very, very small clips of each song. Um, I'm just going to do a, a very, very quick summary just of each song in this whole album. Um, it's the very, very least we can do. So uh, let's have a wee look at the album. So first song, Seven Sins. Um, so he opens this track. The vibe I get from it's like Oh Superman by Laurie Anderson. 
If you haven't heard that, listen to it and you'll get, get that vibe that um, Renz went for. Um, it's the style of the vocals uh, and also it's in Welsh, right? Now, I don't know my Welsh from Glasgow. So if anybody can translate um, what he's saying at the start, pop it in the comments, show how clever you are. Um, this track is where kind of orchestral meets hip hop. I love it. Great lyrics again, well executed. Um, great timing with the strings in the background. I just thought it was, it was, it was beautiful. And, uh, and I love the, the dramatic change in the timing and the, kind of the bridge as well. So, yep, love this Seven Sins, good way to open the album. Um, the title track, Sick Boy. Uh, it's a great combination of amazing beats again uh, and great lyrics with this Irish female who's kind of almost doing a narration type thing um, in it. I want to know who she is. I, I've done some kind of quick research just to try and find out, but couldn't find who it was. So I know that somebody out there is going to know who that was. So please, again, put it in the comments. Let us let everybody know who it was. Also, like the kind of cinematic kids like sample going on through this track as well. Um, again, it adds a bit of drama, which still allows space for as a really quick delivered lyrics, uh, which I absolutely love. So, sick boy, yes. Animal flow. I can see this as a soundtrack to like almost like a like in a game, you know, a video game. Uh, I like this almost beatboxing style of lyrics. Um, I like this almost beatboxing style of lyrics, uh, his delivery and the verses are so quick and rhythmic, still again, as I've said in some of the other reaction videos, I can make out every word he says, which for me is, like, epic, it's, it's like, it's a must, in order to hear a story you need to be able to actually hear the words and he does this very, very well, this is a great example of what I've been talking about in the past, so yeah, Animal Flow, Next one is Money Game Part 3. Um, wow, just blew my mind this one. Uh, beautifully played, kind of classical style piano uh, at the start of this. Very dreamscape, I thought. I feel this is a almost like an anti-capitalist track. The thing I love about this track um, is that the kind of character in this song is almost like a metaphor uh, for the way that greed drones people, communities, uh, and the best part, I think, is see when Ren stops the song and just spells it out as it is. No bullshit. It's it's there. He tells you exactly. He spells everything out and lets you know exactly what he's, he's talking about. It's a very powerful song and it has quickly became one of my favourites on the album. Money Game Part 3. I love it. Favourite so far. Lost All Faith. Uh, I like the way this again starts. It's a very beatboxy, uh, but an original style. Beatboxy? Even a thing. Uh, yeah, that's going to be my thing. Beatboxy. But it is, it's, again, it's done in a very original Ren style, which again, very unique. He's, this, this guy's like, um, just took everything, like certain genres of hip hop, rock. And, 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 and kind of classical and fused all together and came up with this unique, like, um, totally unique sound. But I think it's really, really difficult to, to achieve now, especially the more commercial things are getting. And the albums went to number one because of that. I think that's, it's like unique. It's like very, very unique. Um, and he's unlike any other artist. Uh, which I think is like so hard to do, but he's done it so well. So yeah, Lost All Faith, uh, this song kind of deals with how someone so introvert deals with an ever-growing fame. I love the chorus in this, it's almost like rock, like a kind of rock track, but without guitars. It's kind of got that like big beat um, and the kind of distorted kind of auto-tuned vocal that he's got through that as well. Gives a really nice sound on this, this track. So yeah, uh, lost all faith. Thumbs up. Genesis. Mm. I know I'm gonna get 
bombarded for this, but listen, I am a huge Ren fan, I've turned loads of people onto Ren, but I'm just going through the album, I just have to say this, Genesis just, it didn't grab me, there was nothing I felt, it was a bit generic compared to some of the other punchier tracks in the album, um, but still, every album has that track, sorry Ren, still love you bro, but uh, Genesis, not, didn't grab me, sorry. Murderer, uh, this track has a groove that makes you do the head shake. If you catch me alone, you better stay on my zone because it's I'm ready to kill. Sitting in the car. Sit on my throne, made the bodies and bones because I'm <laughs> uh, ready to leave. I like the space in this track uh, and the delicate synth the sounds that he use, uses in this. Um, I really like that. And they're used in such a very rhythmic way. Again, uh, I'm also pretty sure that the, this is going to be one of the first hip-hop tracks ever to mention a Toblerone. And then follows it up with the word bitch no less. Nice. Love it. Murderer. Good one. Suicide. Uh, I've already done a reaction to this. If you haven't already seen that one, then go and check it out after you've watched this. Um, I go and check out Suicide. My reaction to that. Again, illest of our time. Uh, I've already done a reaction to that. Again, if you've not seen it, wait till after the video. Go back. Go back into my channel. So, good point. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so we can keep this content coming for you. There's loads and loads more coming up and I'm pretty sure we're going to have loads, loads more from Ren. Um, but you can subscribe, very very easy. All you need to do is go to Facebook, uh, Instagram or YouTube, click the subscribe and the wee bell icon and then we can be together forever. <laughs> um, so, let's continue. Love Music Part 4. Uh, now this is one of the more commercial tracks, sounding tracks on the album. Um, I loved it. I thought it was almost like a kind of fun, bouncy track, which is obviously really different from like what he usually does. But I loved this. I thought it was really, really good and um, a bit different. But it still does. But it still does have very dirty lyrics, Ren. But I do love this. Absolutely amazing. Love the song, love music, part four. Uninvited. Uh, this has obviously come to the more kind of commercial part of the album uh, with these, these kind of tracks. No! Listen, don't be jumping on here with the hate saying it doesn't sound like Harry Styles. I know this. It's just the wee, I don't know if it's like a thumb piano kind of kalimba type thing that he uses at the start. But it's just, to me, it's a bit like the kind of. Forget the song, don't even know the song, the Harry Styles song, um, Late Night Talking. I think that's what it is. Um, same kind of wee vibe at the start, same kind of chord structure type thing, which I love. This would be a great single. I think this would be a phenomenal single. Might even be one that you actually see coming out as a single. Um, but I'm going to leave this to Ren and uh, the guys on their uh, independent label because they're very, they're very, very talented. Brilliant. Very, very clued up. I love it. So uh, we'll see. But you know, let me see. I can actually see Dua Lipa want to feature on something like this. It's a good collaboration. Ren and Dua Lipa. What do you think? Yes? No? You know what I mean? Um, I do. I can, I, I can see Dua Lipa being featured on a track like this. Really, really good. But yeah, again, I love this track. This is a a track that I really, really enjoy, and as I said, I think this could be a single. You heard it here first. What you want. So he does say that he's going to take it back to the old school, and old school he does take it back to. I've got two words for this track. Beastie Boys. Amazing. Great track. The Hunger. Uh, I like the kind of atonal bells which set the tone for this track. I also like the sounds that he uses in this track, and it's, it's like saying, okay, you've had your fun, yeah, you've had your bouncy commercial tracks, I'm going to pull you back, uh, time to be educated to Ren again. That's what I got for this track, uh, brilliant, love it, uh, and I love the kind of like rhythmic kind of thing with these like kind of atonal bells, I just loved it. Really, really good. The Hunger, thumbs up. Down on the beat, wow, 
This is almost like a club banger. Uh, I can actually see loads of DJs jumping on this to do remixes for Ibiza. Um, it's amazing. I, I love this track. Again, it could be another single. This could bring a whole other audience into Ren's world. It's just like incredible. It's a, a great track. I love it. Um, and again, this could be another single. Heard it here. Uh, down on the beat. Love it. <laughs> Masochist. Uh, this is a very Ren style track. Um, from when I first reacted to his high Ren, I'm getting this style again from Masochist. This is a very, very well produced track, and I also love the NWA uh, reference. Um, but I hope uh, Dr. Dre and Ice Cube don't get too annoyed. They look mean. Local! Uh, I love the backing vocals on this, uh, it's, it's a very kind of pitch perfect type song just because it's a kind of a cappella type vibe uh, that I get, but it's uh, a one man a cappella group, so Pentatonix, move over, I'd be uh, very afraid. Wicked Ways, uh, a very beautifully lyrical track this is, um, and I love the kind of space that he creates in this with the, with the music, the music's still like almost empty, but, but again it creates this kind of space for his very very nice lyrical kind of content. Uh, this sounds like a deliberate nod to Swimming Pools by Kendrick Lamar. Um, if you check out Kendrick Lamar's Swimming Pools, you'll get what I mean. Um, it's just the, the, the kind of style, the lyrical style, and the kind of rhythmic style of the lyrics. So yeah, it looks like he's had a wee to Kendrick Lamar. So the last track, Sick Boy Part 2. Um, I love the, the choir at the kind of start of this, it's, it's, it's beautifully done. I don't know if he's got like loads of people in or just one person to do all the kind of different parts. Uh, again, if you know, pop it in the comments. We always love learning everything about what's going on in the world of Ren. So, um, yeah, this 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 track is a cracking vibe to it as well. Almost like very cinematic. Uh, this 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 kind of track would just fit beautifully in like a Fast and Furious film. Something like that. That kind of kind of vibe. It's got a really nice kind of rhythm, nice beat. And as I said, that choir part at the start just like sets the track up for you, and then that kind of that kind of low drop. Love it. Uh, so yeah, Sick Boy Part Two. Amazing. So. Quick summary, the, the, the kind of subject matter of this album is is clearly very personal, but the juxtaposition between the the kind of lyrics and the kind of bombastic delivery, uh, that kind of epic cinematic kind of production, really makes this a unique album that clearly deserves to be at the top of the UK charts, and it is. A massive congrats to this lad, um, as I said, back in March this year, um, Someone had asked me to do a, a kind of reaction to his tracks, and um, I'm very, very glad that I've been part of this kind of Ren movement that's that's like kind of like came up, and uh, I am so chuffed for him and his his team. I actually watched a wee video of them listening to the actual <laughs> countdown. Brilliant, just absolutely brilliant. Just love it. Um, as I said, he's off and running. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see, like, what happens next. We wait with bated breath for the next um, chapter in this like, amazing, unique, number one artist story. Number one artist. Amazing. So, guys, listen, thanks very much. Uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Mark Andrew Official, click the subscribe and the wee bell icon and we will stay together forever. Uh, enjoy your Ren journey, check out the, the other ones that I've done on them, uh, you will love it. It's uh, starting to get brighter here, lighter, um, it is now 7.52, I've been in here for an hour, I know you got on with my music so I'm going to have to go, um, but peace, love to everybody and again, a massive congratulations to the Ren clan um, from everybody here in Glasgow. This is Mark Andrew, official. See you later.